Welcome to this Church Mag Spotlight. We have Nils Smith with us. Nils, tell us a little bit about yourself. Who are you in the church tech community? What's your day job? Who are you? Very good. I appreciate you having me. Uh, I am the innovation pastor at Community Bible Church. Uh, I lead the ministry of uh, onlinechurch.com. Um, and, and so we, I came, uh, my, my original role was social media pastor. So I came to use social media uh, to further the purposes of the church. And um, my role has expanded oversee kind of all web technology now for the church and mobile app and website and, and all of that. And so I, honestly, I love, I'm a, I'm a pastor, I'm a minister. Um, and, and so I love uh, just pointing people to Jesus and, uh, and I've really enjoyed using technology to do that. And so I'm, I'm not a technologist, uh, I'm, but I'm somebody that likes uh, learning new technologies and, and figuring out how they can be used most effectively um, for ministry. And, and social media specifically has been a core passion of mine uh, and how to use Facebook, how to use Twitter, YouTube, or uh, w- whatever new technology is developed that connects people to people uh, around the purposes of God. So, yeah, awesome. that's who I, what I do. Yeah, you know, you, you mentioned that you have a passion for social media. It, what is that kind of what led you to to write your social media kind of guide that you've written the ebook yeah so so what i uh created there was uh i i I, uh, we had a lot of success with our Facebook page and, and honestly I would say the success was was not a, a huge aha moment uh, uh, I, I wouldn't feel like in that we stopped using Facebook to point people to our website and we started using Facebook as a ministry tool. Mm. So instead of saying, go here to let me minister to you, let me just minister to you right here at Facebook. Uh, And and we saw tremendous uh, engagement uh, and ministry happening within Facebook. Uh, And as that grew and then other social networks and what we're doing with online church expanded, I was getting a lot of phone calls and emails and, you know, can we we learn from what you're doing? And uh, so I created a, a PDF document that every time I got an email or phone call, I could just say, let me send this to you. You know, this is basically how we do what we do, why we do what we do. Um, and group publishing got a hold of that document and uh, and and called me and said, you know, would you be interested in expanding this in a in a book? Uh, and so I I you know um, took a couple months and and did that. Uh, what's funny to me now though is is it's honestly if you've got the book, it's it's about a half a plane ride read. So it's a pretty quick read. Yet it takes a long time to put all that together. Uh, so it's it's really what we've done, what I learned um, in my first two years of, of doing uh, online ministry, and, and really though my, my last ten years of doing ministry and, and learning from technology. So yeah, it's, that's a really uh, awesome experience. story. I mean, so we'll we'll put that in the links. So you know your first ten or twenty questions you may have about social media, it's going to be in there because you've taken the questions from from the field. Yeah. And, and, and I'll say to the book, too, for, and I know you've got a lot of high-tech folks uh, w- with Church Mag that are, that are following things. If you're expecting a real in-depth uh, of, of the details of social media and technology, that's, that's, this isn't that book. Uh, this is the book for the church leader who is like, should we open a Facebook account or not? Should we use Twitter or not? A very baseline, uh, how to get started. And, and I really, I think for churches, uh, that's a lot of my passion is stop thinking about Facebook and Twitter and should you use them, just start using them yeah. and, and to know them, but understand core foundations of, and the bottom line is be social with social media, connect people. We often just want to blast our messages and get people to our buildings uh, when we can minister to them in their newsfeed um, and, and minister to them pretty effectively that way. Awesome. Well, we, we have a wide gamut of readership from the beginners to the pros, so I'm sure someone someone will hear this and be like, "I gotta get it, I gotta get it now." And as far as the pros go, we're always looking for, you know, resources to point things to because not everyone can be an expert, and uh, you've been an expert in this, and it's it's an awesome resource. And now you mentioned the online church. Tell us about yep. that. I know that that you've seen a lot of success with that. Something you built from the ground up. Tell us tell us more about that. Yeah, you know, just to tell you the story uh, of how it got started is I was uh, serving as a youth pastor, student pastor at another church uh, using technology, and we were streaming our our services uh, through Livestream.com and uh, getting to know that technology. And uh, Robert Emmett, our senior pastor here at CBC, uh, called me and uh, and asked me if I would go to lunch, and he wanted to talk to me about church technology. And uh, and he essentially said, we want to do church online. Can we do that? What does that look like? And could you help us? And so I said, sure. And, and I said, and he said, well, how, how long will it take? And I told him, yeah, it took take probably six months to build a platform and, you know, get some video content and get it up there. And he's like, well, at CBC, we do things a lot faster. Can, can we do it in six days? 
and and I and I said, "There's no way." Uh, and, and and he said, "Well, let's see, let's uh, let's see what we can do." But we found Media Social, the platform to use, uh, and there's a lot of great platforms out there. Um, at, you know, as we research it, that you can essentially just take a video, put it on there, and push play, and you've got online church. And so we did that. We took Sunday's message. Um, so literally six days later, I'm sitting in a conference room with the executive team. Uh, we push play. We update our Facebook status. And we have 400 people on ch- at church online uh, worshiping. Uh, and we ask around the table, is this, is this church? You know? uh, and so we're like, we look at what church is and look at fellowship and discipleship and ministry and all of that happening there online. Uh, and we say, is, do we want to commit to this? And they said, yeah, we want to commit. Uh, let, let's do this. So, they, so I took a job a week later uh, there at CBC, and we just kept going from there and learning and adjusting and adapting and expanding. So today, we, we, um, I think I just saw our attendance report. We had 16,500 people last week attend uh, online church, which has, within the last uh, six months, surpassed our physical uh, worship attendance from, from 175 different countries. Uh, around the world, and so the the ministry and the reach, and, and I think what um, the core of what we do, and we're very closely tied to Facebook, is we're building relationships. And so it is uh, a, a lot of people what, what they say when they experience it, and a lot of people come and just watch a video, but it's not just streaming a video. We're engaging and building a community, and it's a global community of folks that are. Uh, and I, and I'll tell you, our volunteers from San Antonio, every single one of them tell me I'm more ministered to by the people overseas than, than they are by me. Um, and so it's a neat community in, in a way that our local church has been able to break down geographic barriers and, and reach to the ends of the earth. That's awesome. Well, I would ask you how you landed online church for a domain name, but I don't want you to get, give away all your secrets. So let's, let's, have you, let's have you end with this question, and that is, how do you see that the live streaming, the online church, how do you see that changing how traditional church is done in the future? You know, I, and, and that's that's an interesting question uh, because I think there's a lot of churches that are debating of should I do online church, should I not? Um, and, and even how different people use uh, web, you know, online streaming as a church um, is, is different and unique. I, I just talked to Vince Murat uh, this weekend. We were at a hackathon in Austin, and, and he uses uh, online church, or Gateway does, uh, through his leadership to help plant, plant communities and, and house churches. And, and so they really gather people uh, physically. Uh, we do everything digitally. I mean, we, we really are, are building a digital community and, um, and and don't intentionally try to connect people uh, physically. We re- encourage them to, um, but but our end game is digital, and, and it is connecting people spiritually through these digital uh, platforms. And so through, through streaming video, I think there are so many possibilities, and, and honestly, uh, where it's going, I, I think it's hard for us to even imagine. I mean, can you imagine fa- Facebook is barely five years old, and it's hard for us to imagine life without Facebook now right. or, or without social connection. So I think that it's hard for us really to understand where that's going. But my encouragement to, to so many churches is that the barriers to entry are so low now mm-hmm. uh, that the costs are so minimal. I think you just need to get started sometimes and, and then figure out where your church goes with that. Uh, but but I can tell you, any church can now have an immediate global impact by, by going to you know, church online platform, you know, the church online platform or yeah. uh, media social, whatever platform and uploading a video uh, using, using some Google AdWords. And for a minimal cost, you, you can reach a global community or you can reach people locally and that's a front door. So there's different, so many different possibilities. We say that we use the purposes of the church. So we're always hold, holding true to who we are, but yet the, uh, the, 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 principles of broadcast television. So from a video stream, we're looking at what is what is ABC doing? What is the ESPN doing? What, what are these people that are streaming uh, video? You know, How are people engaging on YouTube? Uh, so we're, we're using those principles from a broadcast standpoint uh, with the connectivity of social media. And that's really what brings it together as a church. So it's not just a one-way point of communication. It's a two-way interaction uh, where we're connecting people to God, but really connecting people to community uh, around our purposes. So what we do, what, what we're trying to achieve is the same purposes as our local church. We're just doing it online, and we're reaching an audience that we could have never reached physically. So, so how where it goes, I, I think it's hard for us to know. Uh, but, but I think it's easier and easier to create great video content to engage a congregation um, anywhere in the world or or locally. Uh, we, we do a lot of online small groups here uh, in our church, and and half of the half of the, those that attend live here in San Antonio. They just they can't get their kid, to, you know. Uh, 
uh, or, or whatever the circumstance might be, or they can do it during their, during their lunch hours. There's so many opportunities to connect people uh, digitally and using uh, online video to do that. So, yeah. Awesome insights and inspirational words. Nils, the passion of of streaming video and online church, it like beams off of you as you talk about it. It's like ricocheting off the room, the power. Uh, it's It's pretty awesome. Thank you so much for being on the Church Mag Spotlight. I appreciate you having me, Eric.